Okay, some quick fire questions, go ahead. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life, because I know you're ready to rock life again. Ah, the oldest piece in my wardrobe. I think the oldest piece in my wardrobe is probably a coat that I have after my mother. Um, and my auntie had the same coat as well. And it's like a very old Russian or Eastern European sheepskin coat with incredible traditional embroidery on. I absolutely love it. It's sort of red suede with beautiful shirling. I don't quite remember the story that my mother told me of where it came from, but there's some fantastical heritage of the coat coming from some Russian princesses, or I, I don't quite remember. And it's also really special to me because of course my family is of Polish and Ukrainian heritage. So I love the fact that it's got this traditional embroidery on. And when I was little and I used to do Polish dancing, we used to embroider our own costumes with traditional motifs. I love the fact that some brands are now going back to, you know, traditional crafts techniques that we're, we're you know, we're, we're seeing the value in these people again. We're seeing the value in beautiful hand done embroideries um, and that idea of savoir faire, that it's not just about mass production and the idea of, um, you know, logos everywhere, that we can actually use artisans around the world. Someone like Gabriella Hurst, for example, who has her own line and is the creative director of Chloe, does really, really brilliantly with that. She's um, South American in heritage. And for example, she'll use local ladies in Uruguay where she grew up to knit some of her gorgeous, chunky, soft, delicious knits. Anyway, I got sidetracked, but um, yeah, I think that that red coat, even if I don't wear it so much, I think I last wore it ice skating at the Grand Palais. Oh, it's, you know, the Grand Palais is this beautiful glass building in Paris where Chanel often have their fashion shows. And at Christmas, they, or just before Christmas, they turn it into an ice rink, sometimes sponsored by Ferrero Rocher. And you know, my love of Nutella and Ferrero Rocher. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a beautiful, beautiful ice rink. I'd love to meet you there. If you ever go ice skating in Paris, come and say hello. Ah, oh, yeah, so which piece can't I wait to wear? Mm, um, I think I have this beautiful dress that I actually got to wear for my 40th birthday and then somehow didn't end up wearing it. Um, it's by Galvan London, who started off doing these great slip dresses. You know, I love a slip dress. And they do really sort of classical modern evening wear that's quite um, in great colours. It's great for weddings, for example, for when wedding season comes, their dresses are fantastic. So formal gowns, but they're not too sort of gowny, if that makes sense. I wore one of their dresses for a barbecue wedding in Tuscany where, you know, we were hanging out by the pool afterwards and, you know, the wedding itself was in this olive grove. So incredibly picturesque. And I have a a Galvan slip dress that's the colour of that's the colour of a sunset on the Amalfi Coast. It's really exquisite. So yeah, I really love their dresses, and I have this gown from them that's a bit more gowny, I have to say, and it's got a huge white ruffle on the back. I love it. It's kind of so dramatic. And what they've done is they've left the edges of the fabric quite fraying on the ruffle, but then the the front part, which is navy blue silk, is um, is perfectly finished. So you get that contrast of you know quite a gowny gown, but it doesn't feel too done. You know, it still looks great barefoot, for example. Um, but it is a bit more on the special side. I'm just waiting for a ball perhaps at Versailles or something to wear that at, um, or perhaps a wedding on a beach or I don't know, some sort of event, that would be great. Ah, what would I say from a fire? Oh yes, a classic question. Mm, oh gosh, I'd save myself, I think. Um, and usually I'm, I'm always wearing every day, you know, my jewelry that is, is so important to me because it came from my family. You know, I believe that our possessions are part of our style story and they can really uplift us and give us energy. So every time I twiddle my rings on my hand, I'm reminded of my grandmother. And um, this was from all of the females in my family. 
so I think about them and uh, and this little one little trilogy ring from uh, from Cartier you know this was from both of my grandmothers and my father and now I've lost two of my grandmothers I've still got one she's amazing she's she's nearly a hundred and so yeah so this reminds me of them because they gave me these pieces that I maybe chose myself so I would save these pieces and I they're on me every day you know so um so when I save myself I would hopefully save these pieces too <laughs> but everything else it's just stuff yes it's sad when you lose your stuff but it's a fire we're talking about right <laughs> merci au revoir à la prochaine bye bye